Space, the final fail. These are the jerks who are stuck on the USS Chinstrap. Its mission, to warn the Federation of the incoming rebel army, and then to be given no help whatsoever to stop them. They'll meet new races, watch them die, and then very likely explode horribly like no ship ever has before. Hi everybody, here is Christian and... Hello world! Shepherd. Oh, Shepard! Shepard, <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't, I thought I was supposed to be a computer program. No, you're not a computer program, you're a shepherd. And oh. we are playing today uh, FTL, which is a wonderful game by an indie studio called Subset Games. And it is a roguelike in space. And we are going to space, Shepard. I'm going to be the AI of the ship. Yes. Uh, hopefully, you will help me with. Wait a minute. I'm going to select this ship, which looks like a Defiant, which is called uh, the Kestrel, or uh, more exactly, wait a minute, where is it? The Red Tail, which I think is a reference to uh, Star Wars. Oh, yeah, now that you mention it. What is that? Supposed to be like the, uh, the bomber? I the Rebel it, Bomber? I think it's the X Wing because it has four basic lasers. Oh, jeez, God. <laughs> Imagine me facepalming myself really hard, but I don't have any arms and I'm still an AI on the red tail. Okay, I'm going to call our ship the USS Chinstrap. <laughs> in honor of the last ship we had. Uh, uh, and it ended terribly in every single way possible. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to uh, rename this guy K.O. Han because he is so powerful. He's glowing with energy. And I'm gonna rename this guy. Who's this? Oh, I guess that could, that could probably be Nick, I, I guess, that, buddy. That, nah, that's Bob. No, not Bob. Bob. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> what? What's going on over in Germany? <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Uh, mm, this will be. Who's going to be this? I, I guess that could be that could be me. Yes, of course it's you. What do you think? <laughs> Are we playing on easy or normal? Uh, we we have to do normal. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving to on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. And some blah blah cheat tips. Anyway. So the the thing Whoops. that really makes oh god <laughs> immediately <laughs> failing um, the thing that makes a roguelike a roguelike or at least in my opinion is that there's always something happening that's forcing you to move forward yeah uh, there's a lot of those chunsoft uh roguelikes you know for consoles or whatnot like uh uh Shiren the Wanderer or Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon that all have those same sort of aspects to them but a lot of times in the process, they, they forget to really make it really, you know, necessary for you to move forward. So uh, Diablo 3 is something that's often compared to a roguelike, but it kind of really fails the roguelike test uh, only because it th there's nothing to force you forward. By the way, if you put Bob on weapons, um, I read it and I'm not sure if it's true, Bob will actually go up and experience a little bit faster. However, I guess that's not necessary because you're using the red tail anyways and Nick will level up instantly and that way... Bob can focus on slaughtering things. See, I, I put Bob in the shields because uh, the shields is the thing that you, that you can get, get rid of um, most most quickly. And I thought at some point we're going to get a teleporter and then we can put Bob in a teleporter and then we lose the shields, but that doesn't matter at this point anyway. I agree completely. But if this were a ship with one weapon or two weapons, <clears throat> uh, usually the, the mantises are, are, they level up a little bit faster on guns, at least as I understand it. All right, so um, so where are we going to? Uh, head north? <laughs> it's 
is there a north in space? I don't that, know. Yeah, that's that's a really really not a very good. Okay, you detect a rebel scout on an attack, attack approach to a small refueling outpost. Their weapons are charged, but they are not firing yet. Yeah, we are going to save the outposts for reals. We're going to be Han Solo this time. We're going to fire first. Activating all the lasers. Where? Why, why doesn't four activate? We have to dis disable our our healing station. Uh, I guess we always attack the weapons. Well, you're, you're already being boarded. How funny is that? No. Already. Oh gosh, there's really He's a guy there. there. Well, why don't you vent? Uh, yeah. yeah. You show him who's boss. The problem with venting the O2 room is that you might they, they yeah. might destroy the O2 room, then they have to go in there. Okay, he's going somewhere else. He's like a coward. Yeah. Oh gosh, him. no, he's. I hope he doesn't destroy the doors. That would be so. Uh, and he wouldn't be able to close them again. Oh, no, no, he's in there. Okay, uh, I guess, I guess he, we damaged him with a with a with an oxygen loss. Maybe we should be able to kill. Him. All right, oh, I. Make sure to use your guns. Yes. Oh, so their guns are out. So actually, um, at that rate, you can actually start targeting the. Well, because I only have one shield, the uh, cockpit is usually what I, I shoot at. Uh, ah, why, why is that? Uh, with the cockpit destroyed, they actually get zero evasion oh. uh, entirely. I, I so, oh, but wait, if the guns come back, take out the guns! No! No, too late. Anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. Yeah, we're gonna annihilate them. Well, you might get hit with one missile, whatever, who cares. It's not like it's gonna hit the O2 again or something like that. Oh, gosh! Oh! No, 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 no. <laughs> Send him. He sucks at repairing. Uh, he, he has to learn. He has to overcome. Oh no, I didn't read what happened. Well, anyway, be careful with Shepard because he might run out of air. I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. Are you cool? We're Within cool. the first battle, everything has gone wrong. <laughs> hey, come on! It's the beginning of the game. We are going to do this. Um, so that's you know, of course, the biggest struggle is always trying to manage uh, your stuff getting blown up. Okay, uh, I, I, I I must admit this wasn't the best choice. Oh gosh. <laughs> Well, and even that guy's not a great choice because he's got reduced <sighs> life. You always criticize everything I do. Send Nick in there, he'll do it. Gosh, this is really... No, no, don't die! <laughs> this would be really embarrassing. These are the choices that you have to make, Christian. <laughs> These are little men's lives. Come on, we sent everybody in there. This is super here. important right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, but there's still no air in there. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. Just the first fight, and we are losing so bad already. Uh, okay, Shepard, get into the. That's really funny. All right. It's not. It's not easy. I mean, this game. I mean, there's a lot of things bouncing around. And, you know, the most annoying thing is that that med bay room only has room for like three people. Yeah, not for four. Seriously, like they can't figure out how to fit a fourth person in there. Like they can't sit on a chair. Huh. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm gonna try to help them. Despite your best efforts, the civilian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. You are barely able to break out uh, the asteroid field yourself. The ship sustains some damage in process. Oh, great. But we had nine scrap, that's good. Uh, that's about break even. I mean, it'll be about nine scrap to repair the damage, but it's you know you never know when you're gonna get the big payoff. Sometimes I think they can actually even give you like a weapon or or something like that. An unidentified ship is badly damaged and still being assaulted by a space pirate. The victim begins to, a distress message until the pirate cuts off, cuts in and offers to split the bounty if you sit tight. No, <laughs> we are the. What sort of jerk would do that? Like, yeah, I'll take your scrap. Yeah. Man, whatever. Maybe some pro gamers who, who are like min max everything. But we do, do the good thing. Eh. Everything. No, wait a minute. Come on. Oh, there we go. Uh, we still don't have too much ox oxygen. And if they're trying some kind of invasion tactics, we are going to. Uh... Well, actually, if you were low on oxygen, that could be a good thing if they try to invade you. If only because, like, the rooms are already so vented uh... of oxygen, you could vent them super fast. Oh my god, that was so bad! <laughs> Why is this so bad? <laughs> Oh god, Your okay. The room just got exploded. Uh, hardcore. I'm gonna get out of here, I'm gonna vent it. Uh. No? Yeah. Well, yes. Not a terrible choice. Maybe not vent the room that he's walking through, but not. Not really. Do I have to, through. there's no direct contact to it. Oh my god! Why is this? This is like the most powerful 
rebel fighter that has ever existed. Uh, never. Oh god! Wait a minute, I'm gonna... Uh, we have to attack to their weapons. Normal is very difficult in this game. I mean, you had a really rough run, like the first two ships you fought. I well, mean, uh, you're uh, not catching any luck on those missiles. At least nobody died. It's a lot of damage, though, for only fighting uh, okay, two okay, ships. Okay, okay, wait a minute. They're giving, they're, they're giving us our, our bribe if we leave them alone. Well, the fuel... Scrap 8? Come on. That's such... No, you're, if you beat them, I bet you'll probably get like scrap, scrap like 14. Well, the only thing is if you kill them... There's a possibility that that other ship might give us some bonuses, too. Are we going to kill them? All right, we'll kill them. Well, I mean, for, for blowing up your engines, I mean, they deserve it. Jerks. How dare they? Yeah. Set phasers to fun. Yes, they died. Okay, then we have to repair the engine. Uh, oh, something they happened. They just ran away. Oh, they didn't help us. No, we just got like... Oh, wait, no, no, no. They repaired us, which is perfect. Oh, that's awesome. That's, that couldn't have ended up much better than that. Well, Thank God for that. Time to patch up the old old engine, and we can start away. Yeah, so now and might be a, a good door. time... Ooh. Well, that, never mind. I, I, I'm going to take, take away what I was about to say. What, what, what did you say? I was going to say we should upgrade the engines, but if there's a store, I mean, check that out first, of course. But maybe we should get more um, more scrap first, so maybe we can buy uh, a teleport go down, in Go store. down one, and then right, and then up. Yeah, you're, oh. uh, you're a wily one. Yeah, I really like it when you get the uh, long-range scanners early on. Oh man, that's super helpful. Or like the scrap arm. Yeah, scra oh, scrap arm, of course. Can't beat it. Oh wait a minute! Look, uh, our ships are not repaired. What's what's going on? The, the shield—he's disabled your shields. Oh somehow. gosh. Yeah. But we can at least put some more energy into the engines. <gasps> what? Every single time. Uh, everything is exploding. <laughs> well, may as well let the Mr. Mantis start repairing the oxygen because he doesn't have anything else to do. All right. Bob. <laughs> do your worst. <laughs> Not catching any breaks, dude. Not Man. one. I'm, I'm, I'm fighting an uphill battle here. Really? Seriously. And, and Shepard just keeps getting knocked in the faces with missiles. <laughs> that cockpit is not really a, a safe place to be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, we have to the, heal. Uh... What the? What the? What the? Oh gosh! <laughs> we have to repair. Everybody, repair. Repairing the thing takes ages. Well, with that guy, he's he's terrible at it. Well, that's why I should Bob, Bob repairs that. at half speed. He doesn't know. He's got he doesn't have any hands. He's got little little sides at the end of his his mandibles. You the mandibles are his teeth, right? You, it's it's the future. You would think that uh, maybe it's racist if they don't design the the things that that he, they can use it. You know, seriously. I, I mean, he could probably like use his little claws like to operate like a screwdriver or something like that. I right? mean, it, it's basic, as a screwdriver. Basic accessibility. Your scans reveal an ore refinery in several factories, all standing still and empty. No life signs det detected. Hmm. Oh, and you can't get any scrap from the <gasps> ore refinery. Oh gosh! Oh gosh! What's what's going on here? Not enough O2. What? what? Your ox Your O2 is unpowered, dude. Oh gosh! What? No, it's it's powered. It's only powered now because you just ran Ko Han into there. Oh gosh! <laughs> this is why <laughs> I cannot operate this. Ship. I've already completed this game on 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 easy, you know. Really? I wonder why why. Uh, that's your that's why? your story, and you're sticking to it. Yes, I'm sticking to it. It's like faster uh, FTL Alzheimer's edition. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> Where am I? This is so embarrassing. Why is there power? You have to you have to add, add the power to the oxygen. I'm first. adding power to oxygen. No problem. I'm 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 cool. Yeah, those uh those Zoltans are are pretty helpful. Oh right? gosh, everything needs to be repowered. I mean that is a tricky thing you can do. I mean there are people that leave their oxygen powered. And then they unpower it very quickly in the heat of battle to put extra power towards like either their shields or their engines. I'm one of those people. Yeah, yeah, you're you're min maxing. Yes, I'm doing this sometimes when I need it, uh, one extra point. 
Okay, um, yeah, let's go to the store. I, I guess that's our only last chance to do it. You find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Let's see what they view as valuable. Ooh, a fire beam. A fire? Ooh. What? Huh? Mm hmm? Or a powerful burst laser that fires off an impressive barrage. We also have a crew teleporter and a cloaker and drone control. No, we can't. We wouldn't really. What can we sell? What do we have to sell? We have nothing to sell. We can yeah, only have. We can only sell like so. We can't. Well, we, we could, could sell um, a, a basic laser to get a fire beam. But we don't really have like the um, rock dudes to to no. benefit from. No, you, you kind of want it, yeah. Crew teleporter first, or better cameras, or something. Yeah, I, I think we're gonna just buy as much fuel as we can and fix everything, uh, and that's it. I think I'm gonna save uh, stuff for later. Yeah, I would upgrade the engines now because it's it's gonna be a little while probably before you oh, find yeah, another. Oh the engines are story. really very weak. And I gave us uh, some more energy as well. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Pump it up. Let's do this. Zoltan. You find a rebel automated scout floating near this beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. Of course we attempt to download this course, and of course it <laughs> fails. It always fails, doesn't it? You're I, I, downloading the MP3s. Uh, I think I got it to work once. Yeah, me too, but just once. Never mind. Uh, Oh, so does that a little beam drone floating around? Yes. Yeah, we want to. Uh, I guess uh, it's gonna really suck if they take out uh, the shields. I'm gonna uh, attack the beam drone control room. Yeah, because he does a lot of damage with his little beam. He's a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> take that drone! That guy just floats uselessly in space. That's so sad. Oh yeah, they're in trouble now. Well, they don't even know how much trouble they're oh, in. Oh man, oh man! Wait a minute, I'm gonna eat it, auto assault ship. It's funny how like vastly like different the difficulty is for ships, uh, depending on what ship you're playing as. Like, yeah. if you were playing as the Mantis ship, this would be the worst thing in the world. Yeah, because you cannot enter it. Because it will just vent the oxygen. You yeah. come across a rebel automated scout ship pursuing a civilian ship for weapons engaged. Of course we're gonna help them. What do you think what do you think they need in that civilian ship? I think it's a Van Neumann probe. A, a, a Van Neumann probe? You don't know what a Van Neumann probe is? I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> Educate me, please. And it's, the listeners as well. It's one of the theoretical concepts for um, for something that we might spot if if we are looking for aliens, uh, like automated probes that are designed to replicate themselves. And the theory is that um, that we should expect the universe to be full with Van Neumann probes because their survivability is bigger than like of, um, of a bi biological alien, uh, alien. But we can't see any Van Neumann probes, so that's like, one of the great mysteries of, of, of life. You know, I was thinking maybe a von Neumann probe was something that's used in a doctor's exam in Germany. Um, no, it's uh, it's really a fascinating idea. Like this, uh, it's called like the Fermi paradox, which is you know the idea that why um, is there nothing in space? Why why haven't we discovered aliens yet? Because the universe exists for such a long time, and it's just you know it appears like such a logical thing for you know aliens to have developed earlier than than we developed. And, and they probably have discovered us, and like, no way am I getting messed up in that. Yeah, maybe I don't know. There are like different explanations for why we have no discovered no signs of alien life forms, and you know, Van Neumann probes are one of the things that you know. Like, let's imagine like before us there were like, multiple civilizations that you know reached the same uh, level as, as we did, and then died a couple of years later. Some of them might have developed at least one Van Neumann probe, and they have to just develop one for it to spread all across the universe and, you know, be all everywhere and, you know, basically change the entire mass of the universe into copies of itself. So are you, are you saying that there is at least one chain of thought or one possibility that there was at least an advanced civilization before our own modern one for, like, say, the past three, four, five thousand years 
that could have actually reached the point where they would launch something like that into space, and then the society would have collapsed and we started over again? Yes, uh, we That's are. We, awesome. we ourselves are actually quite close to being able to create such a thing. It's not that very difficult, you know. It's basically like a probe, like something like a Voyager probe, or like a Pioneer, or you know, or like the the Mars rover, right? But a Mars rover that can create copies of itself. Ooh, and we we already have like this kind of Faber machines, you know, the the kind of things uh, that nano fiber, yeah, yeah. No, 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 Faber, um, the, the things that, that can, like, um, produce things, you know? Like, like little, little, little machines oh, that like can... Oh, like that plastic machine. Yeah, thing. exactly. And so yeah. one of the goals is, like, there, I think there's a project called FabFab, which is about creating a machine that can create a copy of itself, that can produce all the parts that are necessary to construct yeah, a copy of itself. I remember reading about that one. This is, like, a thing you insert, like, a, a block of plastic in, and it's able to create, like, a 3D model of it. Yes. And people started creating schematics for the 3D model machine that would recreate a different 3D model machine. Yes, yes. So that's the idea. That's like the, the, yeah. the, the um, I don't know, what do you call it? The, the, uh, you know, the, the, the holy grail of, of this whole endeavor to create, finally create a machine that can like create a perfect uh, working copy of itself. Because then you don't have to sell it. You can just create it, you know, use it to create a copy of, of itself and give it to a friend. And then this will be would be the basis for a Van Neumann probe, which would be basically a rover that can create a copy of itself and send this copy to a different planet. So then you don't have to actually build an, a new rocket every time. You can just send this rover to a different planet and let the pro rover explore the planet and build a copy of itself and send a copy of itself to a different planet. It feels like it's like the physical manifestation of like a virus. It is a virus, yeah. that's a maybe, maybe a virus is... A Van Neumann probe. Well, or life itself is some kind of a virus. It's, you know, it's basically like a mechanical life because it reproduces itself. And yeah. its entire goal is just to fill the entire universe. But it's just specifically designed to operate in space, whereas life is designed to operate like in, on Earth. Anyway, let's just go back to this game before we deep. get too d philosophical. Deep. Because, my, because everybody's mind is just blowing right now. Just Google Van Neumann probe. After a short time, you receive a message. Hello, I hope it's not a bother, uh, but I'm looking for an escort to a nearby system. This is a region. Uh, this region is quite dangerous, and our ship is not, not well armed. Of course, we are going to do this. Ooh. We lost some fuel anyway. No, I th we gained fuel. We, we, ga we, huh? we gave they them gave fuel, us fuel, and then they gave us fuel. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll take that. I, I'm gonna get, go for this stress signal up there. Yeah, you'll be able to get to the exit. A small yeah, civilian ship flies over as what soon as heck? you arrive. You're... Hey, what is this? Uh, some sort of fuel sort of party? Like everyone's taking fuel from us now? Jerks. You're prepared to fight, but they just informed me that you're out of FTL fuel and you can jump. Maybe it's the same ship. It looks very similar. Yeah, it looks the same. Like these guys, like that's like that guy's brother. Oh, they gave us scrap. Can, uh... can we get this one before we get. We should get this one, right? Yeah, we'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of space. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationed near a small rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a storage vessel for military goods. Of course we're gonna get the military goods. Gonna raid your goods. Oh, that's a lot of weapons, though. Hopefully it takes them a while to power all that oh, up. Wow. Those are two baby lasers. There is, there there is a rocket. First. There is a rocket. I'm... The rocket went. Oh gosh, it hits Bob. Eh, Bob's fine. He's a little He's just bleeding a little bit. That's okay. Oh, we can't heal anybody. Just, just, just so you know. <laughs> Don't sweat, Bob. Oh, I'm paused. Yeah. That was like. <laughs> So dramatic. <laughs> Come on, Man, Bob, repair. This red peel just annihilates these auto ships so well. Oh man, I really love this ship. So I got stuff from the station. Yeah, it's a good amount of scrap for normal. To be actually honest with you, I think that's excellent. Uh, Eighty-five is a good amount. Uh, I think you got twenty-three total or so. Wow. Uh, from that one encounter, which is which is not bad on, on the first sector on, on normal. That's not bad indeed. And look, uh, Nick's already uh, already leveled up. 
Oh yeah! Wow. Well, that's He's almost that's, ready to level that two. ship because it has so many weapons. The weapon guy always ranks up so quickly. Just barely slide out away from those You ropes. arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. When you ask a nearby station for aid, a friendly programmer gives you the schematics for a drone. Nice! And nine scrap. So what Jeez, did we get? That's a really friendly programmer. That's like. That's the notch of programmers. Oh, man. <laughs> He's like, here, I'll give you a game and money. <laughs> Yay! And there's a like, level 2 probe at the burrow. So we can go to the rebel controlled sector or the pirate controlled sector. I would go to the rebel controlled sector, so that way you're not forced into going into a nebula in sector. Oh, you four. don't you don't like nebulas? I, I usually there's not. I, I'm not I'm not a fan though. No. I like the nebulas because you can explore them a lot because the rebels advance slowly, and when you're in, in a nebula. But I think the well, I mean, if you want to do that, I mean, you'll have the choice later on anyways. There'll still be one. No, I hate rebels, so I'm going to go to the rebel sector so I can kill more of them. Ooh, 